To talk about the anti-normalizer project, I really need to talk about how it's two projects by two different classes that took place at the University of California San Diego campus this spring of 2007. The first class is a Culture, Art, and Technology 124 course, and there was a special section of this class that was led by Derek Lomas that was investigating social architectures, both the influence of urban design and architecture on people and their behavior in the environment, but also in kind of art interventionist strategies for changing the script of already programmed spaces uh, in, in an urban, or in this case, a, a contemporary university campus environment. Uh, the second class uh, is my, my own Viz 141B, or Advanced Computer Programming in the Arts course, uh, where students do an advanced project in computer programming. Um, and the program they developed was, again, back to two projects, the program they developed was a program called Anti-Normalizer, which was done in conjunction with this CAP 124 class. And it's a hotspot multimedia, or lo location-aware media project. Um, and basically what happens is uh, people carry around a typical consumer mobile phone, um, and using the GPS device on the mobile phone, the software pays attention to the user's location and it triggers an audio file to be played at a particular location. What Derek did for the project was he scripted a number of activities that uh, were delivered via audio that people could perform which were designed to sort of change, so, you know, change the social lubrication in a, in a particular area, to change the script and to instantiate some other kind of interesting behavior to take place at that uh, site. I worked on the audio messenger class which part of the project, it um, plays sound onto the ringtones when they hit certain area points walking around campus. Um, you go onto the login page and you log in and when you log in you kind of walk around and then my audio messenger gets, um, well it gets called to play a certain type of sound depending on where the location that you are at. So let's say you walk near um, the middle of Warren campus, it'll tell you to roll down a hill and the audio player plays by the midlit class calling it and starting the audio messenger which plays a certain tone for a certain amount of time. So I worked on the communicator class. What it basically does, it connects with the database and um, sends requests uh, for latitude, longitude, all the activities. Um, whenever a location is updated, it sends it back. So it's kind of an intermediary class between on the phone and the database. Uh, and then my role was to come up with the user interface for this uh, this project which basically, basically uh, alerts the, the user when um, they received a message and uh, also displays their location and their speed and their azimuth, um, things like that as they're walking around. What is, mean, in terms yeah. of description? Yeah, what is anti-normalizer? Alright, so you know the cell phones are always scripting our behavior, we're always doing exactly what they say, you know, they ring, we pick them up, so this time instead of doing the normal thing of just talking to another person, when it rings, we tell a person to do something that's completely outrageous. So you go around with your friends, the cell phone tells you to do something that is absolutely not normal, and your friends take pictures. At the end of all of this, the person with the best pictures of the weird stuff that they did wins the game, and that's the anti-normalizer. Buzzed once. I think it's uh, telling me that there is uh, an audio file here. It looks like you've entered the labyrinth. So it seems to me that there's probably still a stack of buckets in there. So if you don't mind, try to find those buckets yeah. and pound on them with your friends until you can get a reasonable rhythm going, you know? Nice! Get it loud! Well, it looks like you've entered okay. the labyrinth. <laughs> so. Gotta do this. Try climbing up the bear as far as you can without hurting yourself or the bear. 
Not bad, not bad. Go into the tunnel of light. Sing a single tone for 30 seconds. Alright, library walk. Here's your chance to be creative. This is your sort of wild card. Uh, I, I don't know, do something weird or something. There's a lot of people here. I mean, just talk amongst yourself and do something totally weird. Oh, right. crap. <laughs> one of us gets in that trash can, one of us gets in that trash can, and we have a loud conversation across library walk. Duck in? Mm hmm? Duck in, duck in inside? Yes. Okay. 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 That'd be kind of dirty. Oh. Let's see what's going on, man. Just getting in the trash can. Oh, okay. So anyway, about the policy. Have you read the text of the of the new policy? Um, yeah, that's good. So hopefully we can keep people coming together and maybe have a rally of some sort. Yeah. Well, with, you know, with it, it, it's kind of a whole your right to swing your fist in where my nose begins. It has yeah. to be within reason. <laughs> Try to meet some people coming out of the library and see if you can get them to suggest a book for your summer reading. That's me in the cabin over there. Check out Fox. Authors Fox. Fox? Yeah. What's the series? That's the complete Fox. Yeah, it's pretty good. All the Fox. What's it about? Some light literature? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Top quality, like. I feel like nothing in S and E is all that light. <laughs> I feel like more like the. Is HHS that what you'll be reading this summer? Sort of. No, I don't think you'll be reading it this summer, man. Let's have fun this summer. Don't, don't study. Don't study. Okay, okay. Well, that's, that's what Fox. we got from that. Okay. Fox and S and E. Whoa! Did you know? The coffee is the biggest source of antioxidants in the American diet? No? You didn't? Well, I bet all those coffee drinkers over there don't know it either. Why don't you go tell them? Um, no. Yeah, doesn't that make you feel better about drinking coffee now? Uh, well, it's uh, not so tight, so... Oh, well, it's <laughs> screwed up. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Share that with you. Make, make yourself feel bad about it. Are you filming this candid moment? Yes, candid moment. Go up to the second floor of Visual Arts Facility. Shout at the absolute top of your lungs. Art is research! <laughs> Keep doing this until somebody notices you. Art is research! Keep doing this until somebody notices you. <laughs> Art is research! I think you should each do it one at a time. <laughs> Art is research! Yeah, right. <laughs>